The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 17. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on August 23rd, 1973, in London, England. It pervades the entire body, is, imper is indestructible. No one is able to destroy the imperishable soul. Abhinashi Tutta Vidhi Jena Sarva Vidam Satam Vinasam Abhyasa Asya Napasthi Kartamarhati Now it is very clearly enunciated the nature of the soul. Any sensible man can understand. This is practical. Formally, all the verses, they are more or less theoretical. They must mean the thave, kumaram, jogunam, jara. This is, it may be taken theoretical, not theoretically, but actually the fact, but still, less intelligent can cannot understand that there is a soul within this body. <coughs> but here it is explained very clearly. Abhinashi to Tadvidhi talk that thing uh, which is spread all over the world. Abhinashi to Tadvidhi talk that Abhinashi, imperishable. So what is prayed all over the body? Consciousness. That is prayed all over the body. Everyone can understand that if I pinch any part of my body or your, any part of the body, you feel pain. Or similarly, if you get some other facilities, a pleasure, the pains and pleasure are felt so long there is consciousness. Any man can understand. And as soon as the consciousness is not there, sometimes we are made no, unconscious by drugs, by chloroform and other anesthetic medicines. Uh, or by nature, unconscious state, there are three stages. Uh, Jagriti, Shapna, Susupti. Uh, anyone has got this experience. One stage is that you are uh, awakened. Another stage is sleeping. And another stage is unconscious. Three stages. Jagriti, Sapna, and Susutti, the Sanskrit name. Uh -huh. Jagriti, when you are open, our consciousness is very acute, uh -huh. very strong. In sleeping state, there is consciousness, but it is not so active. And unconscious state means consciousness is somewhere or other subdued. Not working. Three stages. <coughs> so death means that unconsciousness for a long period. That is death. Uh, because uh, the soul is eternal. It is explained. There is no birth and death. Uh, so the, uh, when this body is annihilated, uh, so the soul remains unconscious for a period, seven months for human beings. Uh, seven months 
unconscious state within the womb of the mother. After seven months, the consciousness revives. That's like if you have got an experience under chloroform, unconsciousness, the surgical operation takes place, you do not understand, you do not perceive pains and pleasure, but you remain for a certain hours unconscious, then gradually dream comes. That from unconsciousness the dream comes. And from dream you are awake. As you go down, from awake means phase to dream, dream to unconsciousness. Similarly you come up also. From unconsciousness to dream, from dream to happening consciousness. So death means when this body is lost, gross body, and the soul remains in the subtle body, intelligence, mind, and ego. That subtle body carries him to another body. But those who are not intelligent, uh, they do not understand what is the subtle body. Although it is clearly said, subtle body means mind, intelligence. You have got mind, intelligence, everyone knows. But these uh, rascals, because they cannot see mind and intelligence, they think that this man is lost. Mind, intelligence, and everyone knows that he has got mind, I know you have got your mind, I have got my mind, you have got intelligence, I have got intelligence. But I do not see your intelligence. Uh, it is subtle. Uh, just like there is sky, but uh, here is sky in my front, but I do not see. The things as they become more subtle and subtler, this gross senses cannot experience. Therefore the soul is so subtle that it is not possible to perceive the presence of soul with these material senses. So these rascals, they simply say, you know, I cannot see soul. How can you see? That is not possible. It is so minute and so subtle that it cannot be seen by the gross eye. Achinta phaligiri bhava, nata tarsena yoya. So, Krishna says, just imagine, talk that jena sarva vidam tata. Idam, this body, tatam. Tatam means expanding, spread to sun. We can understand the consciousness that if I press, if I paint, uh, or otherwise we feel pain, so that is consciousness. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, Krishna clearly says that that thing is avinasi, impersonal. Uh, now, Krishna has said previously that we, I, you, and all others. We existed in the past. So we existed in the past. That means we are all individuals. In the past also we are individuals and at the present we are individuals and we shall continue to be individuals in the future. There is no such thing as the Mahama, the philosopher or ascales. They say that after uh, liberation they all intermingle, become a homogeneous lump. No. Even after liberation we remain individual, particles. Uh, it is not that we mix up, uh, homogeneous mixing up. Even in matter, what to speak of spirit? It will be explained that spirit cannot be cut into pieces. Uh, 
That means we are all spirit soul. It is not. We are lumped together at, at one time. Now we have been cut into pieces and therefore we are individual. This Mahabha is It is not that. We are individuals, sanātana, eternally. That is explained. Mamai Vāṁsa Jīva, Jīva Loka, sanātana. Eternally we are individuals. Nitya nityāna, cetana cetana nā. The Supreme Lord is the supreme cetan, conscious. Just uh, like we are consulting dictionary yesterday. Supreme being. Therefore his consciousness is also supreme. As we are uh, living being, uh, not supreme, subordinate. Similarly, God is also being, but the supreme being. That is good. Very simple thing. Uh, you cannot say that I am supreme. That is rascal say that I am God. How you can be God? Are you supreme? Uh, as soon as we ask this question, are you supreme? No. Then I will become God. Uh, the supreme means, that is also, we consult to this term. Supreme means the uh, highest authority. So, is, is any one of us the highest authority? No. Nobody is highest authority. Everyone is under the grip of materialism. How you can be highest of it? But they imagine, yes, I am highest of it. I meditate. I am the highest authority. I am moving the sun. I am moving the bees. I am simply rascal. This is their meditation. Falsely think that I am the supreme. I am controlling everything. The sun is moving under my direction. The, everything, the water is seen. Uh, um, I will say uh, there under my direction. Simply, this is their meditation. Uh, in past, just try to understand how much fool is there. Uh, he, any sane man will say that I am moving the sun. I am moving the moon. I am moving the sea. Any sane man will be, say like that. Nobody will say. Uh, will you say, anyone here, that you are moving the sun, you are moving the moon? Who is that? Anyone? Uh, who can say? Nobody can say. And still these rascals are saying that he has become God. God. We are all God. This rascal philosophy has killed the whole world. It is so many incarnation, gods, uh, all false theory only. This is why. So many gurus, all that. Thing. All that. Thing. Take it for granted. Anyone who is speaking against the principle of Bhagavad Gita, he is a rascal. That's all. Don't give you any credit. Ah. Tell him on the prayer. Ah. Whether you accept Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. If he says no, then you are asking. That's all. Ah. There is no exemption. Ah. At least you must know that here is a rasta. If God is Krishna, the Supreme, Ishara Parama Krishna, Satchidananda Vidra, accepted by all Acharyas, by all Vedic Sastra. And when he was present himself, he proved himself that he is God. Nobody was equal to Krishna when he was personally present. Throughout the whole history of Mahabharata, you can see, uh, nobody was equal to Krishna. And nobody was greater than Krishna. Many, many demons came to fight with him, to kill him. Even when he was a child, the Putana demand came to kill him by poisoning. 
Mas Krishna é só quem? É puto na, é smear over a breast, poison. E Krishna sucked the breast and sucked her life also. But she was given liberation, the position of mother. Krishna is so kind, that is supreme consciousness, that have a the demand, putona, uh, well, innocent or ignorant, she came to kill me without knowing that I cannot be killed. That is her ignorance. But so far I am concerned, I have uh, touched her breast as mother, therefore she should be given the position of mother. Like Jasadama. This is Krishna. He felt in himself so much of life. Uh, because this is service, just like mother gives service to the child. Uh, without any return. Uh, she gives uh, from the very beginning of her life within the home. The mother feeds the child. Uh, the, the process is given by nature, by mother feeds. Therefore, when pregnant, the mother should not eat any pungent thing, because it will give to the tender skin and heart of the child. She should eat only very simple thing, but there are no concerns. They are now killing. What to speak of? Uh, maintaining the child very nicely, that there is a child, my son or my daughter, she must be provided with all comforts in the home. There is no motherly affection in, in this Kali Yuga. In the material world, motherly affection is considered to be the highest form of love. But the Kali Yuga is so polluted that mother is also giving up her love for the children. Just imagine what is the Kali Manda Sumanda Matayu, Manda Bhagad Bodhita. So, this Kalijo is so strong uh, that it attacks even the so called devotees also. Kalijo is very strong. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has recommended that if you want to save yourself, if you at all desire to take the position of Amrita, if you are interested, and what is interest? Uh, Krishna says, so Amrita Kaya Kalvata. That is the aim of life. How I shall become immortal? How I shall not become subjected to the four principles of distress, condition, birth, uh, death, disease, and all Nobody is serious. They are so dull. Therefore, uh, they have been described Munda. Munda means so bad, so rusted, that they have no ambition of life. Uh, they do not know what is the goal of life. Munda. Munda means bad. And Sumarna uh, And in some of them, just to become a uh, little recognized as very religious, he will accept some rascal as guru, uh, magician, and eat everything, do everything, and become spiritual. And his rascal guru will say, yes, you can eat anything, you can do anything. Uh, religion has nothing to do with eating. Uh, it is going on. The Christian people, uh, it is explicitly, clearly said, thou shalt not kill. But they are killing. <coughs> Still they are constant. They are very much proud. I am Christian. And what kind of Christian you are? You are regularly disobeying the order of Christ. And you still you are Christian. So everything is going on. Either Christian, Mahavadana, or Hindu, so called, all of them have become rascals. That's all. This is Kali. Manda, Sumanda, Matayu. They have created their own imaginary religious principle. 
and therefore they are condemned. They do not know. Uh, the life is the aim of life is to realize God. This is human life. But they are so much embarrassed with this uncontrollable senses that they are going to the darkest region of material existence. govi. Adanta means uncontrolled. They cannot control senses. They have become so unfortunate that simple thing, little effort, little austerity to control the senses. The yoga process means to control the senses. Uh, yoga does not mean that he uh, shows some magic. The magic magician also can show magic. Uh, we are saying one magician, he created immediately so much coins. Tang, tang, tang. Next moment it is all finished. So, uh, the light that missing, the aim of light. Manda, sumanda, vatu. Why? Manda bhal. That the unfortunate. So you take it for granted. We are trying. Uh, even our kin constant mission. We are trying to everything. Uh, it seems they are so unfortunate that cannot give up sensitivity. So unfortunate. Condemned unfortunate. Repeatedly we are are spending our gallons of blood, you don't do this, it's still that way. Cannot give up even sleeping. So panda, Kali Yu. Manda So it is very difficult with these lifestyles. Very, very difficult. Therefore, ah, my Guru Maharaj is Guru Maharaj. The gold is that Mahatma. They are not preaching. They are disgusted. They are, uh, I have no power to uh, deform these last case. Better don't bother. Let them go to hell at this level. But still, uh, my Guru Maharaj. Uh, the priest, you uh, are so kind, and he asks us also to do the same thing. But it is very, very difficult. Though. People are so rascal, so condemned, so sinful. It is very, very difficult to raise them. Very difficult. Uh, so only those who are very fortunate they will understand that I am eternal, abhinashi, I am imperishable. Ah, I am put into this condition of perishable condition due to this my material body. Ah, so how to get out of it? They have no ambition. They are like dogs and cats. Simply senseless living. I mean, Arthur Krishna is so kind, how? Very clear experience. You try to understand what is the soul. Uh, so, who does not understand there is consciousness all over the world? So, they will be. They are not salvami They will jump over. Yes, I am the Supreme God. Uh, God's consciousness is also spread all over. That's all right. But is your consciousness spread all over the universe? Both of us, we are conscious. But he is supreme conscious. Therefore, his consciousness is spread all over the universe, all over the creation. In the thirteenth chapter, we find Krishna says, Khetagancha manavidhi sarva khetri subharat. Ama is a khetra Allah. Super soul. What is the difference between super soul and soul? Soul, consciousness, is spread all over this body. Your, you are soul. Your consciousness spread all over your body. I am soul. My consciousness spread all over body. But my consciousness not spread all over your body. 
neither your consciousness spread all over my body, but God's Krishna consciousness is spread over your body and my body, his body and everything. So Krishna is the super or the supreme because his consciousness is spread all over the universe. You cannot hide anything from Krishna. That is not possible. You cannot hide. Sarvasatam Vidishan Nivishtha. After all, you are making a plan with your heart and soul. The soul is there and the heart is there, mind is there. Now we are making plan. But you cannot hide the plan from the consciousness of Krishna. He is sitting there. That is super consciousness. Uh, one, you know, in the Aravinda, he was trying to get super consciousness. His philosophy is super consciousness. Uh, anyone who is here knows about Aravinda. And super consciousness you cannot get. That is not possible. Super consciousness is called Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. Dedaham Samiti Dham. Krishna says, I know everything. In the Bhagavad it is said. Janmadrasya jata annaya tritana sascha arthesu avigya. The absolute truth is that from home everything is married. And he knows everything. Annaya tritana sascha arthesu. We have explained many times. Or this, just like I am conscious, but I do not know actually what is there within my body, how it is constituted, how how many veins are there, how the blood is becoming red. Huh? We have no actually information. I do not know what is within this finger. I am claiming it is my finger. Yes, it is my finger, but I do not know how the finger is constituted. Therefore, I am not Avigya. Although there is my contrast, no, I am not Avigya. Avigya means expert in the knowledge. That is called Avigya, very experienced. But Krishna is Avigya. That is described in the Srimad Bhagavad huh. Krishna is Avigya. That is said. Janmadrasya Jataha in the Bhagavad beginning. Janmadrasya Jataha. Annayat, uh, indirectly or directly, annayat means directly, itarathasta or indirectly. Uh, we may know directly that this is my finger, but indirectly I do not know what is the constitution finger, how it is working, how it is moving, we do not know. Uh, I know directly this is my hair, but indirectly how I am cutting hair and again it is growing, it is unknown. I say, these are my hairs, but I cannot count how many hairs are there. So, I am conscious to a certain extent only, not fully. I am not Avidya. I am not very expert. These are simple truths. That is rascal. I am cleaning. That I am God. The God is, means he is conscious, not only conscious, he is Avidya. Very expert, knows everything. And sarat. Now, to get avidya, avidyata or experience, we have to consult somebody. But God is sarat. Sarat means, uh, He personally is so independent that He doesn't require to take knowledge from anyone. That is God. Sarat. Sarat means fully independent. Now how he becomes? Sabhavit is jnana bala kriyacha. These are the descriptions in the Veda. Sabhavit. He is, knowledge is very natural. Sabhavit. Just like here something eating, immediately uh, mind has attention. Yes. Sabhavit. It is not that. I have to think, now here it is eating, what I have to do? Uh, 
Uh, no, you have immediately handcuffed. Come on, by nature. Similarly, when God has to create, as soon as He desires, let Him make a creation. Immediately. He hasn't got to think, make a plan, how to do it, how to execute it, where to get the ingredients. No. His energies are so perfect that as soon as He desires, everything. Let's go. Thank you very much.